Owls of the Realm God. Yeah, that didn't sound right. Hey, it's Silver Dollar. Uh, ooh, Forest Maze Portal. Just checking out the new dungeon. I had no clue this thing was coming out until I randomly stumbled across someone's video from testing. First impressions, it's... I mean, it's a really, really easy dungeon, so it's a tough one to rate. Um, the only new feature that they've really added, or like design element that they've added, is having uh, like this overhead thing that you can go underneath. Um, so I guess that's kind of neat. You can get... It does make it a bit easier to get lost, I guess. Uh, and you can't see the path as easily, so it is actually sort of like a maze. Um, but it still has the traditional dungeon layout. Um, kind of reminds me of... I don't know what it's close to. Maybe the manor layouts. Something something like that. Um, I did actually manage to get lost sort of a few times or you know it is it is tough to see the path sometimes so i guess it is a bit of a maze but uh yeah it's just it is really easy so like right here i'm just using my pet to kill uh the enemies and i mean i know a lot of low level dungeons are, are like that too but uh yeah this one is definitely easy uh it would be nice it would probably be better if it was maybe like the cemetery uh type skill level because I think you can still do cemeteries on relatively low level characters but anyways I guess they want to put out some you know more content to compete with the pirate caves and stuff because you know pirate caves have like total monopoly on this sort of level 0 to 19 gameplay so um yeah I this is the mega moth the boss of the level uh, pretty intense. Couldn't take him down with just my pet. Had to had to finally resort to the dagger. And he throws a ton a uh, ton of confuses. Um, the new sprites are actually pretty nice. Kind of yeah, reminds me a bit of, I guess the Candyland sprites or the Candyland bullets. Sort of has a similar feeling. Um, I think there's one of the Candyland bosses throws a lot of confuses out like that. Uh, for finding them, yeah, you gotta run around and kill all the hobbit mages. It takes a while, though. I, I haven't found the drop rates to be that good. I mean, they're not, they're not terrible, but, yeah, it took, I don't know, I probably killed maybe 40 to 50 before I got a dungeon or something. So, yeah, they're not, you know, they're probably on par with the other, other ones, but it's a bit of a pain to run around. Uh, the lowland. So, if, I mean, if you can just toss on a fast character, then that definitely helps. Um, they do have these little dead ends and stuff, so that kind of throws you off, I guess. The main enemies are... There's a lot of these little hobbit... Uh, Hobbit-like warriors, I think they're called. Uh, they drop these things, these seed sprouts. And when you use them, they give you f uh, five seconds of speediness. So the same thing as if... You know, you use your uh, Great General, or if you're on a ninja, and use the ninja special ability. So right here, I was like, just running on my warrior. Um, the dungeons are a bit hit or miss as far as how many of these seed sprouts you get. First one I did, I think I got one. Then this dungeon, yeah, I was getting, I, think, uh, I was getting a lot of them. I think at the end. By the end, I got about seven, so that's pretty good. Uh, there's, yeah, the little moths. There's, yeah, the squirrels, the hobbit wizards, warriors, the moth, big moth, and then the monster squirrels, which look kind of cool, but also pretty easy. Yeah, just coming up to the boss again. I think the drops in this dungeon are like, Level 4 abilities, maybe? I don't know. So it doesn't really drop anything interesting. Yeah, get rid of that jug. <laughs> now that I got all those speed sprouts, though, I thought I'd deck them out on, all on my rogue uh, and see, you know, how fast I could get the rogue going. So put on the ring pop, sea silk, and ghost, uh, ghostly. 
and yeah, just let it rip. And I think I was playing in my best server, uh, and I was still managing to kind of get a little bit of blackwalling. So yeah, it was. Uh, they're they're pretty cool. It might be fun to toss them on, you know, a knight or something like a tank character, and then really crank up your speed. The five seconds is pretty solid too. So there, fastest uh, rogue in the game. R L G L R S V L. Oh, Forest Mahes, I'm so lost. <laughs>